Hey, so I'm working on new pair of shoes, Kobe Kobe Tens. Uh, I think they came out a year before he retired. And what we're trying to do, is if you can see the little squares on the bottom, we're gonna take four of those squares to make one big square. We're gonna make a slide, individual little sliders for each one of those little squares there. I've been putzing on some like that so far. I'll get them shaped up a little, a little better. So we get down to sandpaper. Um, I'm trying to mimic a design but with a different pattern. These are my first shoes I made ever. I made them this year and they have worked out great. Minus I kind of need to clean the bottom of them a little bit. Get a little dirt from the carpet and the ice and stuff like that. But um, I've been using this ultra high weight density plastics meant for food service uh, industry and I got fantastic results with these shoes. I had a pair of Ashams uh, curling shoes with um, Teflon slider, one on top, one on the bottom. And I probably get a 20 on the light side, 30% further slide on the good day with these shoes and I was talking to some of the guys at my club and some of the guys that are better than me and they were talking about how some of these new curling shoe companies are making shoes with these little sliders to create less surface tension on the ice itself so I thought continuing with this theme that worked out so well if I make each into each little slider on the bottom even smaller, I'm curious if my sliding distance will increase or none at all. But I'm really excited for this diamond pattern. Um, my shoe slide really straight here, but I'm really curious with the way this cuts almost like a duck or geese V, how they get aerodynamic like that. I'm wondering if it will do the same thing and push all the little water droplets out to the side and make me slide further and straighter. Almost like kind of how they make the little indentation on the bottom of cross-country skis to get that little bit of water to wick out to make you go a little faster and a little smoother. So hopefully that's the same idea. Um, Got about 30 of these I need to do need to keep working them down on the sander little by little until I get better tools. So that's what I'm gonna do for a while. I'm watching uh Japan Sweet it Japan's up one right now. Last I saw the skip missed a couple shots, so I'm not sure what's going on there.
It's working pretty good so far. Um, since I went down a little bit in sand paper, well, it's wearing off a lot faster, but I'm getting it now where I'm just going to shape each one of these pieces, round it off, and use this little piece of paper as a guide and create this square into a circle in the bottom. But what I'm trying to do with my last pair of shoes, I, I had a few little nicks where I didn't sand perfectly to the rounded edge to the flat part. There's just a tiny little burr on the flat part and that picked up tons and tons, well not tons, but in my eyes, a lot more than what I thought. Um, pieces of just frost and little high pieces of pebble and stuff like that. So this time I'm really going to try to do a good job from the initial start to make sure everything's perfectly sanded so I have much less work to do towards the um, after the first test. The last time with these shoes, there would be Especially in some of the parts where I didn't, I thought, I didn't think about this at the time, but where there was more pressure, where my weight was down more, like right here. So I just took a marker and marked where the frost was building up, and I took a little uh, disc sander that goes on the end of a drill and was able to round that really well. And since I made the little perfection sands, haven't had any issues. It's been really fantastic this season. So I'll putz a little more on this. Yeah, I'm really liking how this is going. <sighs> frustrating part about working with this plastic this um, ultra high density blah 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 plastic uh, it creates these little 
repairs, even when you're sanding. You can kind of see that. It's really frustrating because you try to get everything perfectly sanded and make it look real nice and then you just have these little hairs. And what that me means is like those little tiny plastic molecules are that tough and they're trying to cling on that hard. So I know it's a good thing, but it's just annoying to get it all sanded.